Now with so many coaching candidates lately, it is tough to keep track of all of them. WBIR 10 News anchor Kendall Morris spoke to fans waiting some 17 days now for this search to land the right fit to lead the program. Kendall. Robin and John, we're on what our third coaching candidate today, and that's just today. Add that to the other names thrown out earlier this week, plus the candidates fans are hopeful will come here, and it's got Vol Nation checking their phones every 30 seconds for an update. Around Knoxville this time of year, Christmas is in the air, but it's the UT coaching search that's on the mind. So we decided to do a little Vol trivia to see if fans can keep up with the coaching carousel and the candidates. This guy's out. Who's next? UT fans have a lot of has-been coaches to keep up with. What's his name start with? Jay. John Mayer or? Johnny Major. John Ma Johnny Major, that's his name. John Mayer is a artist, ain't he? Philip Fulmer. It starts with an L. Mr. Derek Dooley, fear the pants. Butch Jones. <laughs> and then there are the candidates fans are hopeful come to Rocky Top. And that's the GOAT, that's Peyton Manning. I'm all Team Martin right now, get us a ball. It's John Gruden. Are you hoping for him? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping for him. But when it comes to the names passed around this week, it's tough to keep up. And this is the guy from oh, Sunday. Shana how do you say his name? The no. Shaneo, or however you say that. Shiano? Shiano, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. a no-go. I don't know who that is. Yeah, that was the guy we were talking about this morning. This was the, the coaching candidate from last oh, night. Oh, the mullet guy. Um, <laughs> um, what's his name? I don't even know. I just know him by the mullet guy. From the guy of today. Well couple hours ago. <laughs> no, I don't know him. Abe Doran. Abe he Jordan. may be what we're talking about tomorrow. And as confusing as the coaching search has been. That's John Curry. What do you think about John Curry? He's still employed, right? Fans say they just hope the right person says yes to lead Team 122 to a better season. And a better season really is a must because this was the worst Vol season in history. The team isn't going to a bowl game and lost every SEC game.